What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today I'm showing you all the options for saddle hunting platforms. One of the questions that I get most frequently is what do I do once I get up to hunting height? What do I stand on? How do I take the pressure off my feet? Well, the answer is right behind me. One of these options here. There are so many options, it's hard to even go through them all, but I have almost every option available on the market set up right here behind me. And I'm gonna go through each and every one of them and show you the pros and cons of each setup. I'm gonna start at the bottom with one of my favorite setups. If I'm going mobile on public land and I can't screw anything into the tree, I'm more than likely gonna use my climbing sticks. I choose Muddy Pro sticks, but you could use Lone Wolfs, you could use Heliums. There's lots of options for mobile climbing sticks. And a great way to use these sticks in conjunction with your platform is to use the top double step and pair it with a couple of Ameristap strap-ons or Bullman Outdoors Silent Approach strap-ons. These are brand new steps and I really like them. Using your climbing stick is probably the lightest way to go. You don't carry a big platform with you uh, and you're using the top of your stick as the base of your platform so you're saving weight. All you're really adding to your weight or to your pack are those two little plastic steps and they don't weigh hardly anything. You can use a ratchet strap or you can use an over the center buckle. I prefer the over the center buckle just because it's quieter and lighter. The next platform option, which has become really popular in the, in the last year, are these tree stand seat platforms. Basically what we're taking is, an, is a seat, a replacement seat from XOP, uh, Extreme Outdoor Products, and fastening it to either a custom platform post like this one, or just some aluminum square tubing like this one. You can find out a lot of information on saddlehunter.com about how to use these. And I've also done a separate video that I'll link to at the end about how I use my platform like this. And I'll show you that exact platform just a little bit later. You have a couple different attachment methods. One is an Amsteel Blue UCR, which you see right here. This is a very strong rope and it's probably the lightest way to attach it. What I prefer is the Lone Wolf Buckle. The Lone Wolf Buckle is easier to use. It's very, very strong and it's, uh, it's a little bit heavier, but it's much more user friendly than the Amsteel Rope, in my opinion. I've used both of them extensively and I end up using the Lone Wolf almost all of the time. The advantage that these platforms give over a ring of steps, Ameris steps like this, is the ability to shoot 360 degrees around the tree a little bit easier. You can shoot 360 degrees around the tree with these Amera steps with no problem. But the, the drop shot, as some people call it, or the, if, if you're in the tree, 12 o'clock is the tree in front of you. If you're a right-handed shooter and the deer come at about five o'clock, that's a kind of a difficult shot to pull off with this. It's not difficult once you're practiced, but for new users of saddle hunting, it is a little difficult. Hunting off of a platform like this, it's much easier. You basically just stand up, turn around and shoot the animal. I'm gonna do a full in-depth video on the differences of shooting between the seat style platforms and the ring of step style platforms. That video is coming up soon. Next style of platform we'll talk about is a ring of steps. Here I have six Amera steps on a ratchet strap. Amera steps are hard to find now. You can catch them on Craigslist, eBay, or in the forums on the internet, but they're not commercially available anymore. These are the preferred method of most saddle hunters nowadays. Uh, the next best option, which may be even a better option for most of you, is the Bullman Outdoors Silent Approach Step. It's a great step, and I'll, I'll do a full review on this very shortly, but it works essentially the same. You just run your strap right through this hole and strap it to the tree, just like so. They're a little bit smaller than the Amera Steps, but they work very well. Another option for ring of steps is the tried and true screw in tree step. If you're allowed to screw in uh, items to a tree, if you're hunting on private land or public land that allows it, this is a great option. You just screw in around the tree, just like you would these steps here, and you can stand on these. A lot of saddle hunters find this to be a less comfortable option. Obviously there's much less surface area between a small metal rod and this large plastic step whatever option works for you. You have options like this, which is kind of an in-between. You've got the screw in step, but it's got a broader surface to stand on, maybe a little bit more comfortable. This really boils down to user preference and what's legal in your area. 
Next is one of my favorite platforms. This is the Step Ladder by Wild Edge. Two or three of these set up in a ring make a fantastic platform. They're super light, they weigh about a pound each. You can install them on the tree in 15 or 20 seconds and they pack very well. It's just a great option as a platform. They don't damage the trees, so they're legal on all hunting land. And it's a, it's a great way to do it if you don't want to fool with ratchet straps or cam buckles or lone wolf straps or am steel. Uh, this is a very, very good option. It's rock solid once you get them set up and you have a lot of surface area, as you can see. Another thing that you're concerned about as a saddle hunter is side pressure. If you're moving around the tree, like with a ring of steps or with a system like this uh, step ladder, you'll find a lot of times you're placing pressure on the side of the step in order to move around the tree to maneuver for a shot. These steps are rock solid from the side. Once you get them set up, they're not going anywhere. If you prefer a little bit smaller seat style option, this is what I hunt out of most of the time. This is an old lone wolf tree stand seat. It's a lot smaller than the XOP seats that most people are using. I found it on Craigslist. You can't get these anywhere. You're just gonna have to get lucky and find one and you have to be willing to do a little DIY. I also went with a custom post for my platform from Briar Precision. Got this on saddlehunter.com. I camoed mine up. Some people choose to put stealth strips on it, which is a great option for silencing these platforms down. And it also camouflages them at the same time. This is one of my preferred platforms, depending on my climbing method. If I'm using sticks, I generally won't carry this. But if I can uh, screw in things to the tree or if I can use climbing spurs to climb a tree, this is one of my go-to platforms. I have 360 mobility around the tree. I'm very comfortable. I find this to be slightly more comfortable than a ring of steps. And there's really not a lot of cons to this thing. The last platform option that I'll show you today is the XOP hand climber seat. A lot of guys on the saddle hunting forum are using this as both a platform and a climbing method, which that kills two birds with one stone. I've not tried that yet, but you can find some videos on YouTube about doing it that way. It's a very solid platform once you get up and you get it locked in and it's tough to beat. Hopefully this overview made sense and hopefully it helped you out. If you want more information, you can check out some of my other videos where you'll see a lot of these platforms in action. And you can also go to saddlehunter.com. That is the number one resource for saddle hunting on the web. It is loaded with information and there are a lot of saddle hunters there that are always willing and eager to help you guys out, especially when you're new and you're learning the ropes of saddle hunting. We want as many hunters as possible to learn about saddle hunting. So please check out the forum and you will learn everything you need to know about saddle hunting. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you uh, checking out the video. Take some time and look at my hunting and fishing videos if you like this video. And then if it helped you out at all, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That helps me grow the channel and put out more content for you guys. Thanks again, and I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you go outside to go hunting and fishing and biking and climbing and tenting and hammocking and camping and anything that you need to do, just get outdoors.